Alright, this video I want to speak about my injuries and my views on how it is important to make sure that you train safe. Now, I don't do this competition fighting and I don't promote competition in general. But obviously, at this point in my life, I got a lot of energy in myself to try to better myself the best that I can. And sometimes I push myself a little too much and I do get injured as well. For the most part, most of these injuries are minor injuries. But minor injuries can turn into major injuries if you don't learn from your mistakes. So some of these injuries that I've had recently, from sparring, from the safe sparring that we've done, I hurt my wrist, my right hand. It took a few months for that to heal. Um, I blocked the kick a certain way that, that was coming at high force and it messed up my wrist. Um, it's healed now, but it took a few months. I didn't like that, but it's better. Now I got another injury on the left hand wrist. This was from playing Mercy. We were doing this Mercy game and I went too hard. I overstressed my wrist, I overstressed my forearms, and now my wrist, it hurts. It's been like this for maybe three weeks. Still hasn't fully healed yet. Another safe sparring injury, my finger right here, this pointer finger here, it got jammed. I guess I blocked a certain kick, and the kick went up onto my finger this way, and then, it, and then it hit my finger and then it got jammed. During the time that that happened, it almost felt like my finger could have broke if there was even more force behind the kick. What ended up happening is my finger could not bend, but I could move it, but it couldn't really bend. Now if you look at my fingers now, it still hasn't fully healed. This one's okay and it could bend all the way like this. But this one right here, still cannot bend all the way. It's almost healed but still has not healed yet. So when I make a fist, I can't really make a, a full fist yet. So right there, there's another injury right there. I'm still waiting for this one to heal. Safe sparring injury, my shin. I clashed shin with um, Todai Kong and it injured my, my shin. And then we sparred again the week following and then it got re-aggravated. Then I sparred with Sirai Ping and then, it, and then we, you know, he hit me in the shin again. And then basically I had a big lump on my shin. And just recently has it started to go down. But I've been massaging it and I didn't like that lump there at all. What I recommend for, for injuries such as this, sprains and things like that, it's called woodlock. And I've been putting this on my, my joints and my shins and my knuckles and my wrists. This is how it looks like. This is Chinese medicated oil. And I put it on the area that's affected. I massage it in. It's called woodlock. And it makes it heal a lot faster. So those are some injuries that I got from that. Now I got some injuries from the bench press. Now I recently got this bench press. I had not bench press for like over, maybe close to like over two years because I, I sold my bench press. So I no, 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 no longer had access to the equipment and this type of heavy weight training could be very dangerous for the body. I hurt myself just a little bit at first. Um, I felt a tingly feeling right here in my chest when I was doing the weight. And I felt like a muscle was going to tear. But that went away after like maybe three days. But just recently, I tried to max out and I hurt myself. I maxed out, I had my dad um, spot me. I pushed it up and I felt this, this pain, like I pulled a muscle or something right here in my shoulder while I was bench pressing. I did 
245, I did it one rep and I felt it right here. And right now I still feel it. And then when I was safe sparring just yesterday, last night, I was throwing some punches and I could feel it, feel it, the shoulders, not to feel right. Look at myself in the mirror and I can see that it's that there's a little lump right here that's uh it's swollen. It's a bigger it's a lump here that it's it's not balanced with my other shoulder. So I was doing a lot of stretching, a lot of stretching with my shoulders and and was massaging it and stretching it, it's making it feel a lot better. Every exercise that I do, I pay attention to how my body feels and make sure that I'm not doing any exercises that's aggravating it. One thing that I came up with too is obviously I could use a massage, but um, I don't like to hassle people about massages. So what I what I what I like to do is I, I put my shoulder underneath this bar right here, this bench this bench press, and I start pushing the bar against my shoulder, and that makes it's like a massage. I start pushing it and try to push it in. It's like giving myself a massage. So this is something that I came up with to to make it feel better and to you know essentially massage it on my own. But this right here. It's a minor injury, hopefully it'll heal, but these things can lead up to something serious. I mean, this right here is affecting my push-ups. I can't really do, when I do push-ups, it hurts a little bit. I can't even do the bench press now because it hurts. Um, even when I do curls, it hurts a little. So it, it's affecting everything that I do right now. Not everything, but most things that I do. When I do the safe sparring, I feel it. And I gotta change up the way that I that I spar because of this shoulder. So I might have to use this put in this in the rear, have my left hand forward more. The shin is, is affecting the way that I spar as well. So all these things, you know, that are building up, and I gotta learn from these to to, to keep myself safe and to prevent to the best of my ability these these types of injuries in the future. Another injury is from the back of my head. Um, I was like reaching over to get something by my bed. I raised my head up and then I hit my head against a, a cabinet. And then it, I guess it slashed my head. And then what happened is this, the hair went bald. I mean, my head went bald at that area. And then there was no hair growth. I didn't know if, it, if you know if it was gonna heal. But luckily, my hair is starting to grow back. And it start to look like normal again. I'm thankful for that. Um, but you know these injuries, and I just want to let you know, you know how I'm learning about my own body and what I can and can't do, and how to train safe. What I'm basically doing is I'm putting my my body out there as an experiment, and I push myself a certain way to experiment with what I can and can't do. And through that experimentation, it allows me to teach better because I have through experience, I know from my own body what is the best, you know, the best ways to train it. So it gets me to reevaluate a lot of things and how I teach and what I promote and um, how, to, how to keep things safe. But none of these injuries were, were something that I planned on doing. None of these injuries is something that I want. These are all, um, in a way, accidents. Um, but as martial artists or as a human being, as an athlete, we need to train in healthy ways. But to understand that once you get to higher levels, you do want to challenge yourself. And sometimes um, injuries do occur. But we need to learn from our mistakes, learn from these injuries, to do the best that we can to prevent them in the future. So that's my update about my injuries. I hope that through my experiences I can help you learn so that you will prevent injuries for yourself. Um, injuries is not good, it sets you back from your training. And if something does happen out there, and you are attacked and you're injured, you are at a less likelihood to survive.
So it's very important that we stay healthy and strong so that we can continue to train every day. And if something does happen where our life is at risk, we can perform and survive to the best of our ability. Thank you.